All right, good afternoon, everyone. This is athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. It is October 8th, 2020. And I think for many of us, resilience has been one of the hallmarks, one of the key words, one of the key concepts of 2020. And it can be tough to buy into resilience in difficult times. Um, but I'll share one of the great experiences of my life has been knowing a lot of young people over long spans of time. So um, there's some people who are still walking the streets of this town who I met when they were 12 or 13, and they're now in their mid thirties. And when they were 12 or 13, uh, I think probably for me and maybe for members of their family and maybe for themselves, they wondered, is this individual gonna make it uh, into adulthood successfully? And uh, lo and behold, with uh, a lot of love and intentionality and focus and support, th those folks did make it successfully well into adulthood. And so it taught me a lot about playing the long game and focusing on all of those things that are going to build resilience. And so everything I'm here to talk about today really is about resilience for the athens Clark County community. And so I have a collection of things I want to bring to your attention. One of those involves the next round of grant funding through the Joint Development Authority that was set up between the Unified Government and the City of Winterville. The next round of funding is expanding to businesses of up to 20 employees. So I encourage you to look to the website that will be linked below in the comments to uh, support your business or encourage friends to support their small business. So please spread the word on that. Um, we, we've already delivered several hundred grants to small businesses and we know that every dollar counts these days. Another thing that's getting set up as we speak, as I sit here right now, is the College Square Plaza, which is going to be a beautiful addition to downtown and allow for safe, distanced, outdoor dining in really an attractive way. Um, I think you're going to see College Square transformed in a way that will make us all proud. So um, please get a meal to go and go sit down and enjoy the weekend. Something else that you may have heard about is the North Downtown redevelopment that includes the Bethel Midtown Village area and the surrounding uh, blocks. There are going to be two open houses this coming weekend, uh, actually Sunday and Monday. I encourage you to go down to those open houses and give some input on what that community should be transformed into because really we're building a community that's going to be better for all the residents there, that's going to be a better place to live, that's going to be a good place to raise a family, and we want to make sure we do it right, and we need your input in order to do that right. So please go down and, and give some input to that. Uh, next up, you may have heard that we are going to be building a new reservoir in athens Clark County, uh, just off the Firefly Trail next to the airport from the existing quarry that's been there for decades. Um, this is a project that really won't see the complete light of day until the 2030s, but what it will mean is that for at least 100 years beyond that point, this community has all the water supply it could possibly need, and we'll be able to create that water supply in an environmentally friendly way where we don't have to dam up a river or a stream or create a new hole in the ground. We just use an existing asset. So I'm very excited about this. Um, it, it will come to fruition long after I'm out of this seat, but it will be one that'll benefit us for generations to come. And finally, early voting begins on Monday for the November 3rd election. We have three weeks of in-person early voting, including a complete weekend. And so I encourage you to go to accgov.com election to find out information on that. And so again, the link will be below. Uh, it's, it's a tough time, but we need good leaders who are going to support us locally, regionally, and nationally. And so I encourage you to go vote. There are a lot of good and safe ways to do that. In these times, support one another. Be clear about your intentions. I think I would encourage you not to be unnecessarily damning of other people. Uh, I think the best thing that any candidate does or their supporters do is promotes their cause rather than drags down others. So we're going to seek a resilient Athens-Clark County well into the future. 
I wish you a good evening and a beautiful weekend. God bless.